Hello, brothers and sisters. My name is Tijaka, and welcome to Dark Souls. Oh, shit. <laughs> what have we gotten ourselves into now? My god. So I will go ahead with the uh, all the, um, the classic setting stuffs. How do I lower the volume? Um, so yeah, welcome to Dark Souls, for real. Um, I, oh, sorry about that. Um, I actually tried to start a, uh, um, a playthrough of this, um, a long time ago. And, um, it kind of fell through, um, for certain conditions being met, um, I just, you know, it, it was it wasn't the best time for me to do anything fun, I guess. <laughs> but um I guess I I want to try it again. I have this weird thing where like if I if I start something, I always want to finish it. Um and I I extrapolate that into like multiple ways. Um but games is one of them. Like I actually Where is it? Oh, well it's somewhere around here, but, um, I got Pikmin 2 again. I think I may have mentioned that in, like, a vlog or something, but I purchased Pikmin 2 recently, and, uh, I've been hacking away at that, uh, because I never beat that one. Um, I never played the first one, but I love the second one, and I, I, I never beat it, so I, I have to. I have to. Um, so it's, it's that kind of thing. Alright, so, uh, let's do, uh... Jockmans, because I already have a bunch of characters uh, named Jocko. Let's do male gift. Uh, I always go. Okay, so I I have played this game before. Um, I really really like it. I'm like, I'm like a Dark Souls lore and design whore. <laughs> like I I love the design for the monsters and the armor and the weapons, and I love the lore behind it and like the theories. Like um, I think his name's uh Vati Vidya on YouTube. Um, if you're not, if you're not, if you love the, these games, the, the Soul series, uh, make sure to check out his videos because he goes into extreme depth on, um, the lore behind all the characters and the bosses, and some of them are, like, heartbreaking. Like, it's, it's really, really well done. Um, if, like, his videos, that is, because the theories are just theories, but it's still pretty cool. And, like, the, the known lore is still really awesome in this, in these games. I'm gonna take Master Key, because I always take that, um... So I guess, yeah, the, all these give you, like, a little bit of uh, a boost in the beginning of the game. You can go with none, just like you can go naked if you want, uh, minus a class. So we got uh, Goddess Blessing, Divine Holy Water, Fully Restores HP and Status. But you can only use that once. That's that's one thing. Um, a lot of these you can only use once. Um, they're, they're items. Uh, except for Master Key. Master Key, uh, you're able to, like, open, like, a bunch of, like, just any... Uh, just any door. Like, it's it's pretty damn good. Um, Tiny Beings Ring, Special Tribal Ring, HP Recover Slowly While Equipped. That's pretty cool. Um, old Witch King. Oh, sorry. Old Witch Ring, Old Witch King. <laughs> uh, gift from a Witch, Ancient Ring with no obvious effect. So I'm going to go with Master Key. That's what I always go with. Um, I'm going to go with... I'll go with Slim. Uh, okay, here, here, here comes the, uh, the customization. Uh, let's do... Let's, where's that blue guy? Yeah, I'm gonna take him. Dubious Karim. Um, let's do a, a nice little hero's ponytail. That's pretty awesome. I mean, it doesn't really matter, because we're not gonna be seeing his face much, but... Oh, no, you know what? No, actually, no. I'm, I'm gonna go with the ponytail. Yeah. Uh, color... I'm gonna keep it black. No, maybe silver? Yeah, let's do silver. That's pretty cool. Alright, further customize. Um, maturity. What's same? I I don't I don't see anything. Okay, well, I guess I'll hormones. Old, young hormones. Oh, I get whiter. Okay, that's weird. Um, I'm gonna go mega masculine because I'm swole as fuck. Uh, I already chose those. Um. Let's do forehead, <laughs> brow width. Let's make that really wide. <laughs> Get some ET action happening. Brow depth. Um, 
Yeah, straight up, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go full browse. I kind of want to go full everything. Deep. Brow. What's a asperity? I have no idea what that means. I think that's good. No bridge height. I'm just gonna go extremes, guys. He's, he's looking alright so far, actually. He's not looking too horrifying. Um, let's do eyes. Uh, eye position. Oh. That he just got really sad there. <laughs> it just. Oh. Oh. Eye size. Let's do. Uh, um. Let's do. Let's do tiny eyes. Oh my god, those are really small. I slant. Uh, oh my god, this is horrifying. I space out. Oh no, no, we want it to be wide. Pupils. Um, can't really see them because his eyes are so small. Uh, that's good. Um, I'm going to keep the nose as it is. No, I'm not. Um, let's do nose length. Oh my god. Make it really... <laughs> There's position. Let's make it really high up. I'm gonna make it, he's straight up gonna look like a fucking orc. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> he actually looks like he just smelt something hor- Oh, he, no, you know what he looks like? Oh my god, he looks like one of the witches from Zelda. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it like that. No slant. Um, yeah, it's gotta be up. Cheeks. Um, no, let's keep, let's do mouth. I want to do mouth. Lip shape. <laughs> Just a slight smug smile. Mouth expression. I'm going to purse it a bit. Oh my god. That is so disgusting. Let's go do mouth. Asperity. Occlusion. Oh my god. You know, I, you know what, maybe I should make his mouth really huge if I wanted to make him an orc. Um, no, let's do it really wide. <laughs> <laughs> Lip size. Large. Why is it like, curling in? <laughs> oh my god, he literally looks like a frog. With like a stick stabbed in his face. He he actually he looks like he's oh my god, he looks like he's constantly about to cry. Thick lips. So lush. Oh my god. Jaw. That is really horrifying. His face is a triangle. <laughs> Chin depth. <laughs> oh my god, now it's a diamond his chin or er, his face. Just do a deep, deep chin. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's so weird! Oh my- Oh my god! It's like he's wearing a mask now, you see the little triangle at the bottom of his chin? Let's move it, uh... Ooh. Alright. Jaw. Lower jaw. Uh... Oh, fuck. Jaw contour. He looks like he looks like a dude from like a really outrageous anime where all the guys are really really jacked. <laughs> oh my god, Jockmans. Alrighty. Initialize. No wait, not initialize. So that's what he looks like. Alright, great. Um Alright, so class, I gotta choose that. So right now he's uh a warrior. I don't mm, I usually choose I usually choose bandit or thief. Um, let's do, Banna's got the highest strength and endurance. Endurance is, uh, stamina, right? I think so. Yeah. Atonement, uh, I don't give a shit about. Vitality, that's health. So let's have a, so let's have a level four too. Um, yeah, let's go with Bandit. Alright. We're good. Let's start. Here we go. In the age of ancients, 
the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. the witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty gods build apart their stone skins. Witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh god, those lips. It's hard to believe he's even uglier than before.
dude's just this is just a corpse farting and he's like <laughs> all right dungeon cell key shit all right well welcome to dark souls i'm gonna play around the settings for a second brb All right, chilling. Here we go. So, um, it. So as I was saying, um, the uh, the frame rate issues actually seem to resolve once I go to a fire, uh, a bonfire. Those of you who do not know Dark Souls, you'll know what I mean in a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start up the game here. I gotta remember how to play quick. Um, so that's run. Oh yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> oh shit! I not nothing. All right, I'm gonna get some souls. So basically, the, uh, the main goal of this game is to just, like, kill things, get souls, fight big things, and then uh, uh, upgrade your guy and make and get super strong, or else you're going to get flattened. It's fucked up how unforgiving this game is. It's crazy soup. Seriously. Damn. All right. So I believe a bonfire is close by. The bonfires serve as um, serve as uh, uh, save spots and like healing areas. However, when you go to a bonfire, oh you know, oh true, I didn't know that. Um, when you go to a bonfire, all the enemies reset. So that's a uh, that's a crucial element in this game. Okay, I'm gonna light this and sit at it. Last time when I was testing this earlier. It seemed to, uh, seem to alleviate the frame rate. Oh, yeah, look at that, nice. So it's just decent frame rate now. It might, it might go down again eventually, I'm not entirely sure, but I guess we'll see. All right, uh, I cannot open that. So, right, I gotta go through here. So I got a fair ways through this game. Um, so I'm, I'm not gonna have lots of surprise, surprises, um, just yet. So this happens, and you gotta. You, I mean, you can try to fight it, but I'm I'm gonna take the uh, the casual route and, and go through here. Um, we're gonna fight that thing again later. It's an asylum demon. Very cool. It's it's similar to um, um, the monster we saw like just earlier. Um. Oh shit! Did the? Oh, okay, we're good. All right, sweet. Let's go. Oh, the frame rates. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, ouch. <laughs> uh, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much the same monster as before. I gotta remember how to assign stuff. Oh, here we go. All right, so then shield, bam. So now I have a shield, so that's chill. So you can block and you can hit. That's, that's for parrying, and that's, like, quite hard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this guy in half. Oh! It's Decent backstab. I'm just gonna cut him in half with my broken sword. Oh my god, why am I not doing any damage here? Here, I'm gonna pick this up. Hold on. Ah! Here we go. Ah! Okay. I'm gonna kill this guy now. I have a decent weapon now. Nice, perfect. Did he drop something? Oh no, we're good. All right, let's head on up here. Continue on. Fog gates. This is where the magic happens, right here. Let's go through here. Oh right, I'm a stupid idiot. All right, here we go. No magic. That's fine. Whatever. It's not a big deal. Didn't really care about magic anyway. There is magic in this game, but uh, I usually opt for. Um, for fighting, yeah, there's a big ball. See, yeah, it's, it's gonna be. I, I I know quite a few things up to this point because I've played this part a lot of times. Oh, you, you're no hollow. I believe his I'm name's good. Oscar. This guy. I'm done for. I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Nah. No, I'm just kidding. Sure. Regrettably, 
I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. And thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. True. Oh, and this. Sound now I must bid farewell. Later, I'll man. Hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. So basically, no thank you, bro. That's the guy that gave us the key on the corpse. Um, so basically, uh, when, when humans die in this, they turn into these guys, like little husks. Um, which really sucks. You pretty much just go insane and, like, zombify. And, uh, it really sucks. Like, you pretty much just lose yourself. And, um, you pretty much... Like, everybody's after souls, everybody's after humanity to, to stay sane and alive. Oh, fuck. Alright, we're good, we're good. I thought, I thought I... I miss. <laughs> yeah. They literally did the exact same combo there. Oh! Alrighty. I wanna see if I can... Oh, this guy's a, a bone in mind. I was gonna try to parry him. Chillin'. 260 souls. There's a guy here. I'm gonna try to parry him. Oh fuck! Oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh shit! I gotta be careful now. I can't. I can't try that shit again. So this is a common tactic, I guess. Um. Oh fuck! I can't move. That's bad. Okay. Let's try to go around him. Uh, I usually try to stay behind the enemies. Um. Just because, like, that's their blind spot, whatever. They don't usually attack behind them. Um, Alright, I'm going to go and attack this fucking demon. Oh, you can two-hand your weapon, which is really cool, actually. Um, That's part of my strategy. Oh, oh shit! Alright, good, I got him. That's half his health already. That's very awesome. Alright, so now... Oh, did I do a back roll? That's pretty sweet. I didn't know I could do that. So I'm just gonna hug him and whack him when I can. Yo! Oh yeah, I just did it again. That's pretty cool. Yeah, spider shield's pretty decent. He's dead. Nice! First boss down. He has a really big ass. You have a really big ass. Alright, area right, humanity, very nice. Um, let's go this way. Use big pil 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 pilgrim's key. So now we're out. We're outy. There's a few things around here. I'm gonna take a look. Um, out here. So, um, I, like I, I mentioned before, um, I, I, I play a game called Monster Hunter. Which um, I actually find very similar to this game, so um, I'm actually curious because I, I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter. I've been I've been wondering like if if any of the um, if any of the strats that I uh, that derive from Monster Hunter that I've created uh, will be extrapolated into my playthrough here because uh, I I played Dark Souls before Monster Hunter. So, and I, I'm really into Monster Hunter. And I, I'm not saying that they're, like, the same game. Because they're not. But uh, both are really unforgivable. And both have, like, a lot of strategy and, um, uh, and like, technical um, things to them. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Oh, to leave that. the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Peace. Very cool. Lordran. Lordran. 
to Lord's Run. My feathery moont. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just thrown off. Ah, cool. Wow. Oh my god, I remember attacking this guy by accident once, and then just eating shit and dying. I'm gonna do one more thing. Oh, first? Okay, no, we're good. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save quick. Um, so if you notice there, it was a little quick, but, uh, there's a thing called reverse hollowing. That's when you, uh, um, that's when you, oh shit, is he here yet? No, he's not. Okay. I think I gotta meet him first. Um, when you, when you give yourself a humanity, so th those two zeros up near the health and the stamina, uh, that's your humanity counter. So as you put humanity in there, then you'll, um, like you'll, you'll go up by the number and, um, that gives you, uh, the, the ability to reverse hollowing and hollowing is the process of like, once a human dies, they become a zombie and they slowly go insane. Um, so you can actually reverse that and become human again. So I, if I wanted to, I could use a humanity. I'm, I'm a undead right now. If I reverse hollowing, I would become human. However, hollowing doesn't really have any effects in this, in the first Dark Souls game. Like, um, it just depends. It just lets you do certain things with like dialogue and stuff later on, I think. Um, but, uh, actually, I don't know. I, I feel like it has some other effects. I don't know. I can't remember. But I, I know for a fact in Dark Souls 2, because um, I played that as well on the PS3. Sorry, the camera cut off again. I, I got to end that episode in a second, but I'll finish the thought first. Um, uh, in the second game, uh, like the more you die, the smaller your health bar gets, which is pretty crazy. Like it, it actually like, it, but then if you reverse hollowing, then you'll get all of it back. But um, it's, yeah, so it's, it's pretty intense. But anyways, what I was going to do is uh, I was, well, We'll get to it next time, but um, I'm just going to deposit souls first. So I'm going to go ahead and equip these. Actually, no, I don't have a lot yet. I'll, I'll keep that. Um, I'll get to those in the next episode. But thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you'd like more. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode of whatever I make, including this. Thank you so much. See you later. Create a mind, protect the light Every execution's like all the spine